And th this is a very large scale survey here. It's 50 kilometer scale in the bottom. This is just an example that you, you get porphyries associated with areas that have uh, volcanic intrusions. So those are different types of rocks. Um, you know, but uh, essentially you're going to get large uh, bands of magnetic rock and within those areas you're also going to have porphyries. So th these are promising sort of happy hunting grounds for porphyries kind of thing. So that's an example that uh, we see that uh, in our data as well as uh, Jurassic volcanic arcs. So I mentioned the uh, large magma chamber at depth, a bacolith, a batholith or a lacolith. And, uh, you know, so, so this, this is very big, you know, this is tens of kilometers across at depth and, uh, you know, it's going to store magma essentially for higher level intrusions. I'm showing here a slide of the Bingham Canyon mine in Utah. Bingham Canyon is one of the most valuable mines in the world. Uh, as we have shown on the sideboard, it's been operating for over 100 years, producing over 17 million tons of copper, 23 million ounces of gold, plus silver, plus molybdenum. It is hosted in a porphyry. You can see here the response of the porphyry is about a kilometer across. This is the outline of the pit. The, that is hosted within an intermediate intrusive stock that's about five kilometers across. And underneath that, we have a larger magnetic anomaly that's over 20 kilometers across. And this is interpreted to be a deep lacolith or magma source chamber. So this deep lacolith would have provided the magma source for the intermediate intrusion and then provided the magma source for the porphyry intrusion itself. Shown here is the aeromagnetic data from the Iranian property. We can see a lot of similarities. You can see a large magnetic anomaly here, again greater than 20 kilometers across. We're interpreting this as being a potential deep lacolith or magma chamber, which again could have fed intermediate level intrusions. You can see and a magnetic anomaly here, approximately five kilometers across, very similar to the one we talked about for Bingham Canyon. That we've interpreted as being an intermediate level intrusion. And you can also see these smaller magnetic anomalies, which are all approximately a kilometer in diameter, which are all, for us, interpreted as porphyry targets. So this is a significant case study, we feel, because it shows a direct correlation with one of the highest producing porphyry copper gold mines in the world.